Hello and welcome to a video on using textures with fiber mesh. In this final render you can see that we have butterflies flying throughout the scene. I want to cover how the butterflies were created using only a single texture on already created fibers. So what we've done here is created another type of fiber which is this red grass that I'm now going to turn on to use as something to create the butterflies off of. So you can see by having grass from different heights and different lengths, it creates a very natural look to the butterflies flying through our scene. So let's go ahead and do this again. I'm going to start by only turning on our floor grid, which we have here as our ground. I'm going to drop down a couple subdivision levels so that we can use masking to pick where we want some of this fiber to grow. We'll just mask off a couple areas and then we'll blur our mask to have a gradual change happening. So once we find a good amount of masking, let's go ahead down our fiber mesh and turn on preview. You're going to see we have some grass selected currently. Let's go ahead and add fewer longer length with just a bit of gravity to it, change up our coverage, and even add more length to this. And I'm going to variate my length and the coverage. And let's play with our profile curve a little bit to get a little variation. All we're trying to do is create some fibers that will have different height and different levels for us to put our butterflies on. We can even turn that from green to red so we can clearly see which fibers will be used for our butterflies. This looks good. Let's go ahead and hit accept. Now that we have these made in our subtool palette, I want to select these red fibers. And I'm going to mask off just the top part of these fibers because this is really the only spots that I want to have butterflies growing. So in our fiber mesh, we're going to go ahead and click preview. What's going to happen is ZBrush is remembering the settings from when we created these red fibers and giving the exact same thing on this. So I'm going to tell it by mask by one and keep the area either down or we can keep it up just a little bit. Now what I want to do is import our texture of our butterfly. So click on our little icon here and on import import our butterfly texture. When you are importing a texture you're going to see this warning that ZBrush is saying you have a size that is larger than the max size of 128 by 128. Now in most cases you're going to want to resize this because bringing in something that's 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels, 4000 pixels by 4000 pixels might be a little too much for just putting them on fibers. So I'm going to tell ZBrush go ahead and resize this. So you can see now that we have these butterflies coming in. But well, we have way too many of them, so let's first knock down the number of butterflies we have. You can see right now we can't quite see our butterflies because we need to make some adjustments to our fibers. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on this transparency so anything that's pure black becomes transparent. I'm going to turn on my anti-alias so to create a nice edge to our butterflies. We actually don't need any segments. We only need one segment because this is the advantage of using fibers. We only want one plane for our butterfly. Now let's go ahead and make our adjustments. We don't want any gravity, and we don't want to have any gravity change. We also don't want to have any twist on our butterflies. We want to keep our root and our scale at one, so we're going to adjust this to one to create, help create a perfect square. Then my coverage, I don't want any variation in that, and I don't want any variation in our length. Let's also reset each one of our curves here for our coverage and our profile. And now all we have to do is let's make our coverage the same number so we'll type 60 in here and we'll put 60 in here and you can see if I zoom up close we're now getting the butterflies that I had in my scene so now all we have to do is hit our accept button go into our subtool palette move down to our butterflies and now turn off these fibers and then there you have it you've got a scene full of butterflies flying through the air thank you for watching this video 
and please continue to watch more on Pixelogic.com.